Well, we decided to do this event because, as you know, this year marks the 100th year of Highland Park being a school. So we decided, you know, as we go off into the next 100 years, us as seniors might want to leave a huge mark and impression on the underclassmen by showing them that we can get a 100% graduation rate, that we can all go to college and become successful. And if we can do it, then they can do it as well. But it's very important to go to college, especially for me being the first generation in my family to actually go to college and, you know, obtain a bachelor's degree. So, and I know if my story is like that, then multiple students here at Holland Park High School, the story is the exact same. So I think that, you know, that's the thing that makes us family and for all of us to, you know, graduate, go to college together, it just builds a stronger relationship. At Pitt State next year, I'm, I feel a little nervous, but also I've been there like three times before and I feel like a good atmosphere there. So, you know, the nervous, butterflies, but also just optimism. I would say playing three sports here at Holland Park High School taught me so much about the real world. Um, it taught me how to win, how to lose, and also how to train and get better. So, you know, when I go off into the real world after getting my bachelor's degree, I know what steps to take to become successful, and I know what to do if, you know, I run into some obstacles. Uh, currently, we have the Prom Assembly, which is why I'm all dressed up, and then we have the Highlander Scholarship signing, and then we have college attendance ex acceptance signing. <laughs> First off, having the scholarship is just like a little way off my shoulders because that means I can pay for books, that means I can pay for my meal plan and room and board, so just not having to worry about it that much. But my mom went to college and she went in her later years, so she very, she like made it very apparent that we had to go to college and that we have to get our degree and just so you guys don't have to worry about anything is what she'd say. I want to be a psychologist and hopefully get my PhD and then open my own practice in Kansas. I'm pretty sure my dad didn't go to college and then my oldest brother, he couldn't pay for it because he didn't like do all the scholarships and stuff. But then my mom going and being like 30, 40 and having kids and everything, it was just the motivation that I need to get it done because if she can do it, so can I.